We are continuing our journey of ranking every single Pokemon of each type. Today, Grass Type, you're up to bat. What's going on Funhouse crew? Welcome back to the channel TCG Funhouse where we open up Pokemon cards, we talk about Pokemon cards, and we're ranking every single Pokemon of each type in a tier list here on TCG Funhouse. That's right, we are going on a journey of ranking all 18 types of the Pokemon genre. Every single Pokemon of each type is going to get a ranking from S2 Trash Corner because as you guys know, we like to use our Trash Corner for our trash i guess you would say when we do our pack openings so uh the fire type video was done grass is the second typing that we are doing here for pokemon if you want to go check out how i ranked all fire type pokemon check the description below or there's an entire playlist that will eventually have all 18 videos next week we got water going on which is like an extraordinary long list i had no clue there were that many water type Pokemon. It's like the longest list in history. So that one's going to be a task. But today is all about grass. There's going to be a lot of fan favorites here. A lot of things you may not agree with. So let me know in the comment section where did I put good Pokemon? Where did you agree? And where did you disagree? I love having these types of conversation with you guys down in the comment section. But right before we get into the list, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video so you can get your entry details on this Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. That is our giveaway right now for the month of September. And as you guys know, we're coming to the very end. There's only about a week left to get your entries. So make sure you guys go get all of your details because you can get one entry for every single video that I've posted in the month of September. So make sure you guys go check out other videos so you don't miss any of those entries. But... Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into our list of ranking all 18 Grass-type Pokemon. All right, guys, we have made our way over to TierMaker.com. This list was actually already auto-generated. So if you just go to TierMaker.com and type in Grass Pokemon in the search bar, you'll actually have about 8 to 10 to choose from. Um, I went ahead and went with this list. It did seem like the most complete list to me, plus... The, uh, the little uh, pictures of the Pokemon look fantastic, and it's in Pokedex order, which I do like. I did have to remove a few of these um, because I'm not going to be ranking Mega Evolutions, G-Max forms. Um, I'm not going to be ranking um, all 17 different forms of Stantler and Deerling and all that. So if you see me skip over a Pokemon down on the list, that is why I don't think it's necessary. Um, but let's go ahead and get right in here, guys. Starting with Bulbasaur. I don't know if you guys know this, but Bulbasaur was the very first Pokemon that I ever had. It was my starter in Pokemon Red where I started playing Pokemon. So I got to put him up in the A category. I'm a Gen 1-er, guys. I'm a Kanto fanboy. I love all of my Kanto Pokemon. Not, not all of them. Not all of them. I got to say it. But I'm going to go ahead and put the entire line of Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur here in the A-list category because I think they are very good Grass-type starters. And as you'll see down the list, Grass-type have actually had struggles coming up with some of their starters, I think. But we got to put them there. Oddish, I think, is another cool, cute Pokemon. I think it does its duty. I'm going to put Gloom one below it because I don't... I, Gloom is a C to me because I don't think he's... Um, very attractive. Uh, middle evolutions, I think, a lot of times get the brunt end. Like, Oddish is super cute. Then he goes through, like, this little emo, drooly uh, phase, and then he's back to being pretty cool. Vileplume again. So, Vileplume is back up in the B category. Uh, Paris has never done it for me, guys. I'm putting Paris down into the D category. Again, I love my Gen 1 Pokemon. I like the lore around Parasect, how, like, the mushroom supposedly controls the crab paris and stuff like that like i get it that's pretty cool it's a crawfish looking thing i not my favorite i don't really like it so it's a d category for me bell sprout i think bell sprout is actually uh pretty underrated i'm gonna put all three of the evolutionary lines for bell sprout here in the b category i do like the bell sprout line i think it's very similar to the oddish line you know um, I think Oddish gets more love from the Pokemon company and the Pokemon community. Bellsprout, I think, should as well. Execute, not my favorite. I don't really think... Execute's going to go as a D for me. It's actually a pretty... I'll put Executor as a C. Uh, up one, but just a little bunch of eggs. See, like uh, Alolan. I don't really need to rank Alolan Executor. 
executor. It's going to go in the C category as well. So um, I would take all that into one package when you see me rank a Pokemon. But executor, C, um, ex execute, D. I mean, for, for freak's sake, they gave it a secret rare card in the black and white era. Execute. Why? I just don't understand. Tangela, trash corner. My first Pokemon to make it into the trash corner for grass typing. I don't like Tangela at all. I think it's terrible. I never wanted a Tangela. It was a very rare Pokemon, actually, back in the red and blue times, uh, only in the Safari Zone, I believe. Uh, and I think it was um, exclusive as well. Only one of the games got Tangela. Never wanted it. Never really cared. Uh, moving on to the Johto region, Chikorita. I like Chikorita, but it's my least favorite Johto starter. I think Chikorita... I'm going to put Chikorita in B. But um, Bayleaf and Meginium, I think, are down into the C categories. Chikorita gets a little bit of a bump because it's so cute. And it actually does have a lot of fanfare based around it. Um, but as you go along and evolve into a Bayleaf and Meginium, they're just not my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Feraligatr and Typhlosion are both significantly better, in my opinion, uh, for the Johto region. Uh, Blossom, a side form for Oddish, right? So you can either choose to go Vileplume or Blossom. Uh, but this is going, I'm going to, mm, I'm going to put Blossom in the C category as well. I do think it's above Gloom, but nine times out of 10, when I'm evolving my, uh, my Glooms in the games, I want a Vile Plume. Maybe just cause I'm a Gen 1 guy. I don't know, but Blossom has never really done it for me. Just not very interesting. Um, Hopip, Hopip is a D. It's just not very exciting. I think they use this as their flagship Pokemon for the Johto region in grass typing anyway. And I don't like it. This is supposed to be the Johto Oddish, the cheerleader Pokemon. I'm putting all of them here in the D category. And they're not very strong either, which is kind of a bum. Um, Sunkern, another one. It's just not very good to me. But I'm going to put Sunkern in the D category as well. Sunflora. I don't think I've ever played with these Pokemon. Usually, I'm just getting them to complete my Pokedex in the games. I've never been interested in using um, a Sunkern or a Sunflora ever in my games. Celebi. Mythical, S. Love Celebi. Celebi is an S type for me. Absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite mythical Pokemon. Um, the second one we ever got after Mew. <coughs> Excuse me. Recovering. Recovering from a little bit under the weather. But um, S category for me um, on uh, uh, Celebi. Really cool in game event. Was really, really awesome. Celebi is really a dope. We got Shiny Celebi in. Uh, the uh, Isle of Armor expansion with Zarud, which was awesome. So that is dope. I have official legal Celebi. I believe you can actually still claim the shiny Celebi. So make sure you guys go do that. Um, Trico. Trico is an A for me. One of the good sides of this as well. Grovile is an A. Septile is going S category for me. I actually love Septile. He is my favorite grass type starter, period. My very first shiny that I did Masuda Method hunting was Trico because I wanted that blue shiny Sceptile, so it has a lot of connection for me. Sceptile is an S-type category, and I think Grovile, right here in the A category, is one of the better done middle evolutions for starters, so definitely awesome right there. Not going to do Mega Sceptile, don't care. Um, Lotad and Lombre, I'm going to put these in the C category. They don't really, I mean, they're there, they're pretty cool, they're kind of derpy. Ludiculo, I'm going to put Ludiculo as a B. I'm actually going to move Chikorita up above um, Oddish and Bellsprout. Ludiculo, for me, I'll put him both before there, but he's not as good as Oddish and Vileplume. Actually, a pretty uh, strong Pokemon in the games. Uh, grass water typing, which is pretty cool. Um, and he has an awesome appearance in uh, Detective Pikachu, so uh, that bumps him up to a B for me. Before his appearance in Detective Pikachu, I probably would have left him down here with his brethren. So uh, I will move Bayleaf and Meginium up here. I'm going to move Meginium ahead of Bellossom, um, just like that. So CDOT. I don't care. CDOT's in the trash corner. Not very good. Nuzleaf, though, I'll put... No, I can't put him in the trash corner. He's a D. CDOT is a D. Shiftry and Nuzleaf are Cs for me. You might notice this guy doesn't seem to like grass-type Pokemon. I, I don't know. They just don't do it for me. Um, usually when I play with grass types, I go with one of these up here that I really enjoy. And all these extra grass-type Pokemon, I they've just never... I've never had interest in these. Same things with Shroomish uh, and Breloom. I mean, just not... I don't think they're done well. Breloom is pretty cool. I'll put Breloom up as a C. Uh, Shroomish is a D. 
Uh, Roselia, I like Roselia. Roselia is is a, uh, I'm gonna put him as a B. Roselia is a B Pokemon ahead of Oddish. I do like Roselia, and I'm actually a pretty decent fan of Roserade. So when I get to the Roserade, I'm gonna bump them up as well. Cacnea and Cacturn are really stupid, guys. This is trash corner for me. Zero interest. Never ever played with them. Never wanted to play with them. Uh, Cradilly. Lilip and Cradilly. They're okay. I mean, they're fossils, kind of, right? Rock, rock, grass. I'll put them in the C category. Not my favorite. I'll move Shiftry up a little bit ahead of them and the Nuzleaf here as well. Um, Tropius. Tropius goes in the trash corner for me, guys. I just have not. Tropius is one of those Pokemon that you just forget about. It gets zero love from the Pokemon community, zero love from Pokemon Company. It's never pushed anywhere, shown anywhere. It was a regional exclusive in Pokemon Go, so I couldn't even get it in Pokemon Go. Um, just, it just doesn't do it. I just, I don't know. Trash Corner, one of the most forgettable Pokemon of all time. Um, back into the starters again. I do like Turtwig. I'm going to put Turtwig up here as an A. I'll put Grodel as an A. Um, and I, I'm going to probably catch some flack for this, but uh, not an A. I'm going to actually move for... Ooh, man. Torterra. Mm. I'll put you as an A because I do think you're a pretty decent starter. I really do. Um, gosh, guys. That's a tough one for me. I'm going to move Grodel down here into the B category. But I will leave Torterra as an A because it's a strong Pokemon. So I will do that. Badoo, I don't care about baby Pokemon. Baby Pokemon can go into the trash corner for me. Um, I'm not interested in any baby Pokemon whatsoever. Never have been. Even Pichu. Eh, who cares? Roserade. Roserade. <sighs> Man. A. I don't have many S's here, do I? I'm going to put Roserade into... Actually, I'm going to put Roserade as an S. I like Roserade. Very, very strong grass-type Pokemon. Uh, you know, kind of a glass cannon. Uh, but I do like Roserade, and I do end up actually playing with her sometimes in the... Uh, in the game. So, Burmy, whatever. Who knows who you even are, dude. Trash corner for you. Cherubi and Chirum and the two different Chirums. Ds. I'm going to move them up the D squad a little bit. I think they're better than Sunkern and C Dot. Um, I'm only going to do one of the Chirums. Carnivine. Carnivine is a D. Just doesn't do anything for me. It's very similar to Tropius. Snover. Snover is a C. Obama Snow. Obama Snow is a B. Decent, weird ice typing, ice grass typing. You don't look at a bomb of snow and think that it would be a grass type Pokemon, but hey, grass ice. Uh, Tangrowth, right next to your boy here in the trash corner. Just don't care, never should have happened. Leafeon. Leafeon's S type, baby. I'm going to put Leafeon ahead of Roserade. Um, Leafeon is really, really awesome. Evolutions, big, big, huge fan favorites. I actually used Leafeon quite a bit. I used Leafeon and Sword and Shield for my first playthrough. All the way, basically, from beginning uh, to end, almost. When I got the Eevee, evolved it. Was really, really good stuff. Shaman. Shaman is a... Oh, man. Shaman is an A for me, but I'm going to bump it all the way up here to the front slot in the A. I do like Shaman. I prefer the Skyform down here. I'm only going to put one on the list. Uh, but Shaman is pretty cool. I love Mythical Pokemon, the premise of Mythical Pokemon. Rotom, don't care. Snivy. C. Right here, all three of them, bam, 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 going into the C category. I'll move you up a little bit because Snivy isn't too, too bad. Um, but you're going to go behind Gloom. So I'll put all three of your evolutions here um, right in the middle of that C category. Not very good. What can I say? The monkeys. All three of these monkeys. Um, I did it with the fire types as well. The pants here, semi seer. Simi Sage right here. Who gives a crap, dude? These things are terrible. Black and White did an absolute terrible job with about half of their Pokemon. And it's just not good. Suwaddle. D. Nobody really cares. Levani. C. I'll put Levani up one category. I think it's a little bit better than Seawaddle. Um, but again, it doesn't... Nothing to write home about. Cottony. D. Whimsicott. C. Same thing with the Seawaddle and Levani. They're pretty good. You know, um, Cottony whatever but whimsicott itself is actually not too bad it's quite powerful as a fairy type pokemon um gosh man there's just so many maractus maractus is a is a f trash corner for you 
Uh, Deerling, I'll put Deerling up here in the C category because I do think it was pretty cool. Deerling and Stantler get C because I do like, even though I don't think we need 8 to 12 types of a freaking Pokemon, I like that it changes and it looks like we're getting another one here with Legends Arceus. Um, but yeah, not so bad. Amoongus here, Grass Poison, I think. Um, D, man, these are just nothing to write home about. Pharaoh C, D. Design sucks. I do like Ferrothorn a little bit better. I'll put Ferrothorn up here in the B category because it is powerful in the games. Virizion is a B. One of my least favorite uh, legendary Pokemon are the Swords of Justice. All three of them are not that great for me. Um, I will bump it up in the B category right here behind Chikorita, but it just doesn't really do it for me, guys. I may have to do some scroll action because there's so many here. Chespin. Chespin is underrated, guys. A category for Chespin. Um, Qu Quilladin gets a B, but Chestnut is an A for me as well. This guy, you're looking at my list, you're like, man, this guy only likes grass starters. It's kind of true, man. It's kind of true. I'm not going to lie. Um, I do like Chespin. Chespin was Brady's very first Pokemon and in getting into X and Y. So it holds a little bit, a little bit close to our heart. I'm going to put it ahead of Turtwig, actually. Get a lot of hate for that. Turtwig behind Chespin. Oh, man, I'm going to get attacked. Okay, Gagoat. I think a goat is pretty cool, but I think it's a B. Phantom. I do like Phantom. Phantom. Um, I'll put Phantom up here in the B category, but I'm going to put it ahead of a lot of these right behind Oddish. Um, Trevenant is an A. I do like my ghost-type Pokemon, so a ghost grass-type I think really does a fantastic job. Um, Punkaboo. Right behind. I don't think Punkaboo is as good. I'll put you ahead of uh, Executor over here. Um, same thing with Gorgeist. This doesn't really do it for me. Um, gas, uh, Ghost Grass. I'm good with Trevenant and um, you know uh, Phantom. I don't need the Punkaboos anymore. Rowlet. Rowlet is dope, guys. Rowlet is really good. Rowlet is up here in the A. Um, a category for Dartrex as well. But we're going all the way to S tier. With Decidueye, I'm going to put Decidueye actually right back here behind Sceptile. I love Decidueye. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Sun and Moon, not my favorite game. They did a fantastic job with their starters. Decidueye gets S for me, and I do like Rowlet. I'm going to bump Rowlet actually up here. Dartrex sucks. I'm sorry, Dartrex, you're going down to the B category. You're a terrible middle evolution. Um, let's keep going here. Some of the Sun and Moon grass types. None of these do it for me, guys. D's. D's. Lorantis. D. Shinotich. D. None. None. Serena. Serena got some kicks on her. She got a little bit of legs. She's up into the B category over here. Uh, again, not doing Savali. Delmize, I think, is a pretty cool Pokemon, but he's not significant. C. Tapu Bulu. Not big of a fan of the Tapus, but I'll put him up here in the B category. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move Tapu right behind the Bellsprout line. Not too bad. Uh, not too great. Kartana, Ultra Beast. Trash corner. Ultra Beasts, go away. Never want to see you again. Grookey, my boy. A. Grookey is an A. Thwacky is an A. I do like Thwacky. Rillaboom is an A as well. All three of the Sword and Shield. Spit on my road mic. What the heck? Uh, Grookey, Thwacky, and Rillaboom all up here in the A category. I'm actually going to put them ahead of Turtwig as well. Not too bad. Grookey's probably my favorite of the three, but we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, Gossiflower. I actually like uh, Gossiflower, believe it or not. Oh my gosh, a grass type that he likes. Eldegoss is pretty cool inside of Pokemon Unite as well. So Gossiflower is a B. Eldegoss is an A. I'll take that. Applin. I don't like any of these three Pokemon. You guys are going to hate on me all day. I just don't care. The entire Applin line is not good. I would not put them straight in Trash Corner, but I will tell you this. When Flapple and Appleton show up on my Dragon-type list, they will go into the Trash Corner because they are stupid dragons. Zerud, underrated. A. Putting Zerud up here as an A. Doesn't quite handle the same tier as other mythical Pokemon like Celebi. Um, but Zerud can go up here. I'm actually going to put him right behind the rest of the Trico line. Uh, and then last but not least, Calyrex. I think Calyrex is a pretty cool Pokemon, but again, doesn't really take the cake. I think he's a little bit better than Zerud, so I will put him over here. <coughs> Excuse me, ahead of Shaman. 
So I do like Calyrex. So there it is, guys. There is my list of grass type Pokemon. You're probably looking at it going, this guy really does not like grass types. But let's take a look at some of the key points here. Celebi, best grass type in the entire game. I will go home with that mythical Celebi, number one. Sceptile, my favorite starter, grass type starter right there. S category, Decidueye, another very good S type. Leafeon, gotta love those evolutions. And Roserade, kind of a surprise here in the S category. Roserade coming at the very top of the list. Let's go down to Trash Corner. Ah, Venusaur, man. I was struggling to Bulbasaur and Venusaur. I really was. I'm gonna move Bulbasaur to the very tip top right there with Venusaur. Sorry, guys, but I had to make a couple of moves at the end. Trash Corner, Tangela, Tangrowth, Cacnea, Cacturn, Tropius, Siwaddle, Burmy, Simi Sage line. Who cares about them? Maractus, Cartana, Ultra Beast, go away. Those are the key points from one spectrum to the other. Go ahead, take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm probably going to get a lot more hate for this one. I'm just not a big grass type fan. Look at how many I have in the D and C category. Both of them stretch down to three apiece. That is crazy. Let me know what you guys think. I love having conversations with you. Who is your favorite grass type Pokemon and who is your least favorite grass? I want to talk about it. I want to chat. I love conversating, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys smack that sub. We're going to be going over all 18, 18 typings of the Pokemon genre. Every single Pokemon of that type will be getting ranked. Next week, we have water. So hit that subscribe button, guys. You don't miss any of the awesome Pokemon content. We post at least three videos a day. Full length for a day. Jeez, that would be insane. A week, three videos a week with shorts every single day. So make sure you guys go check it out. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. Smack a like. It really, really helps, guys. Anytime you guys do that, I just get to have a better night and I sleep like a little baby. I don't really. I'm sick. I've been sleeping very good. But anyway, thank you so much, guys. Here are your entry details for that Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. Thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of the video. I know you're looking to get those entry details for this Evolving Skies Evolutions Beauty of an Elite Trainer box that we're giving away here on TCG Funhouse. You only got to do a couple things, guys. You got to make sure that you are a subscriber here on the channel. You have to like this video and you have to leave a comment below. Usually in the videos, I ask a question or ask you to make a statement that I would like to either talk about or discuss. So comment that, or you can leave any kind of comment that you want. That being said, guys, remember, you can get an entry for every single video that I post. It's not just a one-time gig. You can get an entry for every single video, and with three to four videos a week, that is a ton of entries that you can have and opportunities to win the Elite Trainer Box. So... Thank you so much once again, guys. Share this on your social medias as well. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any entry opportunities. And I will see you around.